The MTV Video Music Awards celebrated 40 years, and many of the biggest names came out to the UBS Arena on Long Island to commemorate this incredible milestone. Eminem, Taylor Swift, Lenny Kravitz, Jelly Roll, Sabrina Carpenter, and so many others. The performances, the presenters, and the winners, they did not disappoint. Now joining us now is our senior reporter, Eileen Reslin, who not only had the chance to be on the black carpet, but was also inside to witness all the history go down. Now girl, who did you get to see grace this black carpet? Oh my gosh, Astra, it was such a fun night. So fun, chaotic, so much going on. The stars really came out. Obviously, Taylor Swift. Oh. We were on Taylor Watch the entire night, <laughs> and we got to get a little peek of her actually making her way right in. We timed it perfectly. And we also saw Katy Perry, of course, looking mm. amazing, stunning. Beautiful. That body, she looks great. Perfect. And also just so many celebrities. I mean, Chapel Roan, Tate McRae, the list goes on. Our housewives that we all love here at Page Six. So, yeah, it was a great night, and the stars definitely came out for it. And I heard you saw Shibuzi. Yeah, Shibuzi. Boozy. Was, no Amrata, though, you oh, guys. I thought he would be there with her. I know. Yeah, no, he looked great. And we thought we were going to talk to him for a moment. But, you know, we did break the news about him and Amrata dating at page six. So he may want to just, like, lay low for a little bit. Are us. they still dating? <laughs> if she wasn't there, are they still dating? That's what we need you to know. You know, I did see him chatting to some uh, people from The Challenge, from MTV's The Challenge. They were kind of, like, fangirling over Shibuzi. And those ladies are very beautiful. They looked great on the carpet. But, no, I think uh, he seems to be, I don't know, loyal to Amrata. They've been spotted together Ooh. in recent weeks still, so it seems to be going strong still for now. <laughs> now, did you happen to see anything crazy happening on the carpet? Well, I didn't personally get to witness it because I was in an area of the carpet that was a little far away from that, but of course this moment went viral. Chapel Roan uh, giving a big F you to the paps <laughs> and to the photographers, so not sure what happened there, but um, she seemed to be in good spirits by the time that she walked around to where we were. So, Did you get to speak to anybody while you were out there? Of course, yeah. Our favorite housewives that we love from Real Housewives of New Jersey, Dolores Catania, Jen her. Jennifer Fessler, kind of all of our favorites here at Page Six. And uh, Chet Hanks was a great surprise actually on the carpet. Yes. I really enjoyed chatting with him. He was really great. That's incredible. Now we got to move inside because you got to go in and see the show. Yes. What did you get to see that the rest of us didn't get to see while watching? Oh my goodness. Well, there was so much going on. I was really honed in on Taylor Watch, of course, <laughs> all night. Um, and she was, she was great. She was, of course, having the time of her life, uh, supporting all her friends. And yeah, it was just great. Everybody was just having a really good time. Now, Eminem, obviously, he opened the show. How yes. did that go? Because the energy watching it on TV was incredible. Yeah. He came out with all of his clones like he did many years I know. ago. Yeah, that was an iconic tribute to that very memorable performance that he did so many years ago. And as a millennial, I personally enjoyed it. I actually, because I am a millennial, though, I, I wish that he would do a little bit more of like the old school songs. Yes, take it back. Yeah, because he did do, I mean, don't get me wrong, that song with Jelly Roll, it's so emotional and amazing. Oh, but yes. I want a little bit more of the nostalgia personally. But I mean, it's Eminem, which is iconic. I was like, happy to see Jelly Roll too. I know that he was yeah. up for some VMAs. He didn't land any, which is all right. But for him to be up there with Eminem was incredible. Well, I don't know if he was on the stage. He wasn't on. He was, on, he the was screen. on the screen. So, so yeah, to be so, part of that performance right, was I, epic. I wasn't sure how it like was portrayed on TV. If it seemed like he was actually there, but um, yeah, no, I don't think he wasn't physically there. But yeah, no, it was it was a great performance though all around. Obviously, I love him. I just you know. Millennial, I want the old school hits. Of course. <laughs> now, before we get to Taylor, because we're going to be talking a lot of Taylor, Meg The Stallion, the host of the show, yes. opened up. Incredible. She did an amazing so job. So many outfit changes. Gorgeous. Yes. L amazing. And performed, by the way, too. Talk about, like, pulling double duty. That is not easy. No. Like, sh and she hosted perfectly you know you never know with these hosts like which route they're gonna go like are they gonna try to be really funny thank god she didn't really do that like she didn't try to be a comedian she was just herself and the britney tribute for slay for oh, you one of my faves coming out with the live snake i know was it live so i was seated somewhere <laughs> a little bit kind of far she freaked out on stage because it started to kind of like oh, wrap okay. around her see i was I, from my vantage point i couldn't really tell if it was like real or not or what was going on <laughs> i was just in the moment like yeah a britney tribute like let's go for it because so many people like that Slay For You performance from Britney Spears is like, for a lot of people, including myself, like the top performance for the VMAs ever. Yep. So, yeah, no, the fact that she, you know, paid homage to Ms. Britney Spears, uh, the legend, she rightfully should have done that, and she, it was great. Yeah. I loved it. And she wasn't the only one either. Tate McRae right. did. Also, um, Sabrina Carpenter did in her performance, which I, I don't know. know if you had a chance to catch. It was just a little glimmer. I feel like a lot of people could have missed it because it was just a hint of where it was like that part yeah. where it's like, oh, 
oh, the old lady drops down into the ocean. Oh, it was I just know. a little clip, and I was like, oh, is she gonna do a Britney song? But yeah. then no, she didn't. All the all the pop girlies paying tribute to Britney as they should. Britney, I hope that you know she comes back um, to the VMAs one year. We all obviously still love her and big fans of her. And speaking of Sabrina Carpenter, she nabbed Song of the Year for Espresso, beating out Taylor Swift, who she opened up for on the That's Errors right. Tour. Yeah, so a little bit of like an inside scoop story from when I was there. So actually, when Sabrina was performing, I looked onto where Taylor was sitting, and she wasn't sitting there. And I was really surprised because I thought, you know, obviously, like Taylor's always supporting her girls, her friends, and Sabrina obviously opened up for her on the Eras tour. So when I didn't see her, I said, well, that's strange that Taylor isn't standing up and dancing along to Espresso. But then Taylor comes back out, uh, back into the stadium um dressed in a new outfit so we're like okay she was just doing a wardrobe it was the change, change time. It's just the timing you know didn't work <laughs> out but of course she supports her girlies i'm sure she was in the bathroom singing along yeah of course <laughs> of course and she's seen i'm sure sabrina perform so many times too absolutely and, you know. and now speaking of taylor obviously she was the first one to win the award on stage for best collab her and post malone they both went up on stage uh how was that whole situation let's let's talk about that about taylor winning best collab yeah yeah no it was was great I mean Taylor was up for 10 nominations this year so it's the most 12 actually oh was yes. it 12 mm -hmm. okay so it's it was the most nominations out of any artist this year and she was on the brink of breaking history which I believe she did she beat out Beyonce for the most ever wins VMA wins wow. um, so yeah it was she's amazing no we everybody obviously everyone also in the music industry and like reality stars is so supportive of Taylor. They, they get it, they're Swifties too. <laughs> I will say that I do love the fact that she did pay tribute to the 9-11 situation yes. when she did her speech, Definitely, which was very yeah. honorable of her. So kudos yeah, to you, Taylor. Yeah, she was one of the few people to actually bring that up, the fact that, you know, it was, this this exciting fun night enter for entertainment uh, took place obviously on a very serious time as well. But um, so yeah, and it didn't even feel like in the being in the room like it kind of like felt like she brought the energy down not at all by saying that. It like you said, it was very right. honorable that she did that. She so. did. And now of course we got to talk about who brought Katy Perry on stage, her oh hubby Orlando Bloom, well, and she is one lucky lady. But so is he's a lucky guy too. So. Absolutely. <laughs> now of course she performed for the vi the Video Vanguard Award, right. and I love that he called her by her government. Name. <laughs> That's Catherine cute. Hudson. I know, yeah, because she's not Katy Perry to him, you know. She is, yeah, his wife and mother of his child, Daisy, which is so cute. She gave Daisy a shout out too, I believe, when she, she did. accepted the award. Mm -hmm. But I actually, for me personally, Katy Perry's performance of that medley was like one of my favorite highlights of the night. And I actually walked away. I've never been to a Katy Perry concert, and I was like, now I need to go. Like, when is she touring next? Because every time she'd perform one of her songs, I'd be like, wait, I want to hear the rest of it. Right. Um, and the set, like, everything was really cool because she did kind of, like, outer space. It went with the Moon Man motif and everything. Um, she killed it. And how was Taylor during it? That's right. How can I forget? <laughs> Taylor, so supportive of Katy Perry, standing up. You guys, she stood up the entire time throughout the performance, dancing along, and then throughout the entire speech. You know, I, I don't know what that. kind of heels she was wearing, but I love the support. <laughs> it's like the girls supporting girls. It's just I'm all for that. Yeah, no more bad blood there. That's for sure. Absolutely not. And then the kiss with Katie and her hubby on oh, stage. Oh yeah, that was hot. <laughs> Talk about passionate. Hi, did you guys forget the cameras were rolling? I know Daisy number two <laughs> may be coming soon. <laughs> Might be now. Chapel Row and literally set the place on fire. How was that performance live and in person? Oh my God, amazing. Oh, you know who really got a kick out of the performance? The Drag Race stars. Really? They were all there, just like cheering her on you know she obviously also gave a shout out to the queer community in her acceptance speech and you know it was it was a great time oh my goodness I can't believe I wasn't there now of course <laughs> video of the year went to you guessed it Taylor Swift and Post Malone for Fortnite she thanked everyone involved in making uh, the video and who else did she thank Travis Kelsey, of course. Wow, which we were so shocked. I mean, we were hoping that she would finally give him a shout out. That's what I was going to say. It was the first time ever that Taylor has ever given Travis a shout out or like a that boyfriend the ever. And everybody loved it. Everybody in the house was cheering on. I think like I watched a clip later after I left the stadium. <laughs> And I saw an audience member like with the fate that the camera cut to an audience member that was just so shocked that Travis's name was mentioned. Yep. And what she said about him too. <gasps> that he so brings sweet. like magic and happiness to everywhere he goes. This like, is the real deal. I, I feel know. like at first I was a little skeptical, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, were you one of I those? I was. I was I've part been a fan of that. from the start. I can't lie. I love them. I've been a fan <laughs> of both separate, okay. but I was a little skeptical of the pairing. I mean, 
Lenny Kravitz, LL Cool J, you know, just so many people that it was a really well-rounded show, too. It I was. think there was something for everyone. There were different uh, people of different ages in the crowd, I, I want to point out. There were, like, people with their kids. And so everyone from Chapel Roan to, like, LL Cool J, everybody walked away happy. I know. I was about to say it covered every single genre as age well group. as every single age group. Yeah. So I feel like this year, yeah. for 40 years of MTV VMAs, yeah. You guys definitely nailed it. It was a great show. <laughs> I'm so happy to be there. And uh, yeah, it was a good, really good time. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Eileen. And if you want any more info on what you may have missed at the MTV VMAs, you can always head over to page6.com.